Super Mario is one of the favorite mascot of our childhood, and in this video we are going to talk about some mind-blowing facts that you should know especially if you are a Super Mario fan. So, let's jump into it. It's me, Mario! Hello! Mario's voice is very cute, isn't it? But who is the person behind Mario's voice? Well, his name is Charles Martinet. Apart from Mario, he has also voiced Luigi, Wario, and other characters of the Mushroom Kingdom since 1995. Wow, such a nice person he is. It's me, Mario! Yes, that is true. Mario's name and character is actually based on a real person. It was the time around 1981 when Nintendo was renting out a warehouse in Tukwila, Washington to use it as their American headquarters. A man named Mario Segale used to demand rent when they failed to give it on time. It left an impression on the Nintendo tenants and his way of dressing and stature seemed to have influenced Mario's design through the years. And our Mario is huge inspired from that man. OMG, what an inspiration, isn't it? It's me, Mario! Yes, that's true. Neither Mario nor Luigi have any surname. Game creator Shigeru Miyamoto has always mentioned that both the brothers actually don't have any last name. Despite, many people have speculated Mario and Luigi's last names. In 1993, a Super Mario Brothers movie was launched. There was a scene where they needed a last name for the characters. And someone suggested that since they were the Mario Brothers, their last name should be Mario. That is, Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. Also, Shigeru Miyamoto reacted on this by laughing immensely on it. We rarely get to see this kind of funny incident in the gaming industry, isn't it? It's me, Mario! Do you know that over the 35 years till the time I am making this video, Mario has taken several different roles, starting as a carpenter and a plumber. He was also seen as a doctor, racer, baseball player and so on. One character but many forms, right? It's me, Mario! Till now, Mario has appeared in more than 200 games. No other video game character has appeared in as many games as Mario. It's not just that he appears in Nintendo console exclusives, either. Throughout the 1980s, multiple games featuring Mario were licensed for PC, Atari, and arcades. Also games like Super Mario Run have come to mobile devices also. Wow! Too many Mario games, but very less time to play all of them. It's me, Mario! Do you know that why Mario wears a head and why he has a mustache? Well, this result of the unique and distinguished look was due to the lack of technical and hardware limitations in the 80s. Shigeru Miyamoto and other co-developers were finding it difficult to design human hair and human nose. And to supplement those elements, they used the head to hide the hair and the mustache to emphasize the nose and the mouth. Really? A clever plan made by the creators. It's me, Mario! Do you know that Super Mario first made its appearance not in his own game? Rather, Mario first appeared in another arcade gaming title made before the Super Mario Brothers, which was the first game created by Shigeru Miyamoto, the same designer of Mario games. It was Donkey Kong, an arcade platformer launched in the year 1981. It involved a large monkey throwing barrels down slopes and players had to control a character named Jumpman, who was a carpenter, to the top of each level while dodging the monkey's projectiles to save the princess. That character Jumpman later renamed as Mario in his own games. And this is the unique story which answers the question how Super Mario Bros. franchise was started, just like the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Yes, our another all-time favorite childhood mascot Sonic also started his journey from another video game and then later came into a separate existence in his own video games. And if you wanna know how, then click on this video on the left side to know more about Sonic and Sonic video games. Thank you so much guys for joining us. Wishing you all have a great day.